well guys welcome to another video i'm back out on the streets downtown vancouver here really excited to be out today and see what we can come across now the weather's been really hot here but we did actually get our first downpour of rain yesterday so that was great so hopefully it helped with the wildfires here in vancouver and british columbia the inland because the smoke's been really bad so it hasn't really made for any landscape photography now i was really pleased with the comments that i got on my last video thanks very much for all your comments like i said it really helps us out with future content and it's nice to know that people actually are enjoying my street photography it's not a genre of photography that everyone likes but it is nice to mix it up and bring something different to my channel and show another type of photographer that i really enjoy so i've came out today now yesterday we had that rainfall i thought there was going to be thunder showers and uh, i looked on the weather app and it did say that there was going to be thunder and lightning at some point so i took a late evening walk just close to my home there uh, but it didn't materialize the winds really picked up the clouds in the sky got really money, uh, moody but it just didn't uh, come to anything in the end so i got a wonder i took a couple of images if any of those images worked out i will put those up but for day, today general walk about again see what we can come across look for those areas of interest so let's see what we can come across today i'm gonna walk these streets hopefully this sunshine will appear and allow us to grab some images what i might do is actually go indoors for the time being see if i can find any location where there's some nice shapes some nice artificial light you can work really well with artificial light for street photography and that's why late evenings really good as well because you get lighting above doorways and areas like that so i'm going to get back head down these streets see what we can come across and here's to a good day Now what I like about this area is you'll be able to see got this lovely white tile floor with these grey pillars behind, just some nice contrast there and because we've got that artificial light in there from up above any subject that walks into the shop really stands out. What I'm wanting to do is I'm actually wanting to shoot it from above so I've came partly up a stairway here because I want to try and cut out as many distractions as I can you'll be able to see there's a sign above uh, just below the ceiling there I want to cut that sign out it's nice to get a different angle on it as well you know coming up from above gives it a bit of interest and basically I'm going to focus on the area in the center there I'm going to manual focus round about f2.8 and that that should get everything in focus that I want in focus now I'm having to bump my eyes so to around about 320 because we are indoors and basically just wait grab the shot and see how it works out it's a great little location be able to see how the guy there really stands out in amongst all these shapes and the natural uh, the artificial light that we've got but it's a great first image of the day now we am going to be taking this shot with the 35 mil i brought a 35 mil along with us today you know by now it's one of my favorite lenses at the moment and i'm really getting to grips with it and enjoying it so I'm going to get in position, set up for this shot and we'll see how it works out. Now I did get um comments on my last video people were saying how do you feel about photographing people it's the more you do it the more you do it and you get out and enjoy yourself the more you relax and the more you find ways of getting photographs of subjects like you know there's a guy behind us there i don't know if you can see him he's actually disappeared 
but what I tend to do is I'll actually I'll actually get near my subject that I'm going to photograph but I'll make it look like I'm photographing something else but what I do is I pre-focus on an area roughly the same distance as the subject that I'm photographing so I'll manual focus I'll make it look like I'm taking a photograph of something else a bit like the guy uh, that I photographed in Gastown in the rain I actually got behind him made it look like I was photographing up the street itself and then I turned round and grabbed the shot so that's what I do a lot of shots you know you've got to shoot from the hip you've just got to react and grab the image uh, some shots you can kind of set up and really work on your composition so it varies a lot and that's why street photography is so good because it really does vary uh, on what images you can come across you've really got to work at it it's not easy it's not like landscapes landscapes stay still in street photography everything's moving all the time a bit like the guy on the steps there is a really interesting subject He's really smartly dressed, you know, I could go up to him and say, do you mind if I take your photograph? I tend to do that quite a lot. And people normally oblige, people are quite happy to get the photographs taken. And at most, all I can say is no, so you don't get it if you don't try. So I've made my way a bit further into downtown, just checking out the streets, seeing how this weather's changing. Now, great, the sunlight came out, so that's absolutely brilliant. We're gonna have some nice bright highlights now, some nice shadows, some nice contrasts I look for. Now, as I've came down this street, I've actually came across this pattern on the, the pavement here, on the sidewalk, and I'm really attracted to the pattern. We've got those greys like we had before, we've got the whites, a nice mixture. And I'm going to try something different for this image. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to shoot at the floor itself, uh, but include the side of the sidewalk there. I want to photograph someone's feet actually walking through the shot. It sounds a bit strange, but sometimes doing that with images, it adds that area of interest. You know, you don't know who the subject is and it really stands out against this pattern on the floor so that's what I'm going to try we have got a bit more light now so I can gain a quicker shutter speed I'm going to shoot it round about 5.6 to 2.8 uh, I'm going to do test shots what I can do is as people walk by I can manual focus in the area, area that they're walking and I can try out shots till I get the shutter speed how I want it and that's another tip you know don't set up and try for the image straight away practice just practice with anyone walking into the shot till you get the subject that you want and then when you're ready to take the shot your settings are already dialed in so everything's about planning ahead with street photography sometimes setting your focus setting your exposure along with your shutter speed So I've came into an alleyway that I've photographed before. Uh, I've had a nice walk through this alleyway and I've met a young lady called, what do you call it? Velda. Velda. I've met Velda. Um, I was taking photographs in the alleyway here and she was standing taking selfies with a phone. So I've actually asked her if I can take some photos of her while she's here. And I've took some photos for her with a mobile phone. Uh, so it's always interesting just to meet people 
ask them if they want the photo taken and uh, normally like Velda the obliging they agree to get some photos so I'm going to take some photos of Velda now and uh, see what we can come up with but great to meet her uh, she's here traveling from Toronto so I hope she has an enjoyable time in Vancouver and enjoys the sights. I will, I will definitely. Bray is a great photographer and please subscribe and give us a like. So I'm going to get back, take some images and then we'll venture further into Vancouver. Bye now. So I tried some shots in the alleyway, really enjoyed myself, it's always great to meet new people when you're out and that's one good thing about street photography, you do come across people that want the photographs taken, like I've said to you before, it's a confidence thing, uh, I haven't got a problem with asking people if they want the photos taken or not. Um, we tried some images in there, in the alleyway, it was a bit underlit, it was quite uh, shaded so it made it quite hard for shots. Uh, for moving shots because she wanted to spin and take photos while she was spinning. Now the thing that would have helped with that if I had a flash with us today, um, it's a bit intrusive using a flash when you're out doing street, it's not as easy as that. Uh, but if you've got subjects and they're really willing to get some photographs taken uh, in alleyways like that, the wanting portraits done, that's when you would take a flash along. Uh, but for general street photography, I tend to just walk around with the camera, I don't bring my flash with us. So I am getting a bit peckish now, uh, I think I'm going to grab something to eat and I might even treat myself to a pint, really enjoying how the day is going, uh, just venturing around the streets. We are getting more sunlight as the day goes on, uh, hopefully I haven't given it the kiss of death, but we are getting more, more gaps in the clouds and the creating that light that I want, that creating those highlights that I want those dark shadows and I'm actually going to venture back into Gastown where I've been previously. So I enjoyed my pint back there, had myself 30 minutes rest, I'm back onto the street and I'm in Gastown. Now I'm just wandering around the alleyways, around the streets, waiting for that light. Now we do get that light from time to time. So that's what I'm going to be looking for, I'm going to be looking for pockets of light and utilising shapes, utilising subjects, walking within those shapes. I'm going to be looking at restaurants, anywhere where there's activity and use the light that's casting in the, the restaurant windows there but with street it's constantly moving so it really is um, it's just great to do you know and I recommend that everyone tries it everyone has a go um, because you'll be surprised how relaxed you get the more you do it so I'm going to continue my walk around uh, Gastown here see what I can come up with hopefully this light comes out again it has got a bit more overcast but I'm sure I'll grab some images.
Now we keep getting sunny spells but very short, it is quite overcast now and that's been the story of the day but hopefully I grabbed a couple of images there so I could explain and show you how you can use those pockets of light, look for areas of interest, subjects interacting within restaurants and places like that. You can find shapes on the street and watch that light hit the shapes and create some nice black and whites when you get those really sunny conditions. Now today has been a bit of a struggle. It wasn't how I, you know, how I wanted it. I wanted it to really be sunny and get out first thing this morning. But I've really enjoyed my day, so I hope you have too. Uh, so if you could do us a favour, leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of today's video. Do you want to do street photography? Do you want to give it a go? I'm not going to lie, it is a challenge, but it's great. It really brings your photography along. It learns you how to deal with certain conditions, light, look for compositions, trying to, to make an image and create an image. That's what street photography is about. It's not about landscapes where they just stay still and you're waiting for those conditions to change. You've really got to hunt uh, for the images. So that's the enjoyment and that's why I like it so much. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't seen my video before, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But from me and downtown Vancouver, thanks again for watching. Bye bye.